So back in March of 2021, it was first announced that a Ghost of Tsushima movie was in the making. When I first heard the news, I was surprised because the game hadn't even been out for a year and already they were planning a movie. But the game itself did really well. As of right now, it sold over 8 million copies and was the best game that I played in 2020. Now, almost two years later, we hear of a movie adaptation in the making. As of right now, not much is known about the film besides the fact that it's being directed by Chad Stahelski. He first got his start as a stuntman working on a number of action films, even serving as Keona Reeves' stunt double on The Matrix. He also served as a fight choreographer on films like 300. He's even been able to direct his own action movies. He's directed all the John Wick movies, and he's even being attached to direct the Highlander reboot, which will be starring Henry Cavill. While on the red carpet for the new Matrix movie, Stahelski gave an interview to IGN where he addressed the trend of video game adaptations that were disappointing to fans. He said, We just want to do it right. You know how video game adaptations can go. So we're taking our time and doing it right. We're working very closely with the game developers to make sure we stick to what's great about it. Stahelski also gave some insight into where the film is in production, saying that they are all still working on the script, but fans of the game would be very happy with what we're working on. So, in Ghost of Tsushima, gamers played as Jin Sakai, a samurai and the last surviving member of his clan. In the game, he must set aside the traditions that have shaped him as a warrior to wage an unconventional war for the freedom of Tsushima Island during the first Mongol invasion of Japan. So, it's been said time and time again that video game adaptations to movies never work, and so far, that seems kinda true. But, I'm remaining hopeful, and I'm really hoping this movie changes that. Not only would it mean bringing this awesome world into the big screen, but it would also mean another samurai movie, and we desperately need a new one. So with Sony working with the acclaimed John Wick director, the movie might be in good hands. I just hope that this project doesn't end up like Uncharted. That movie went through like 7 or 8 directors in the space of only a few years. That movie might end up good, but I don't have much hopes for it. The fact that this story is going to be a combination of three games, that's not a good sign. And honestly, they casted it all wrong. Mark Wahlberg, the guy that looks like Nathan Drake, the main character, should have been Drake, not Tom Holland. Still not sure why they did that. But getting back to Ghost of Tsushima, the details are unsurprisingly not much as of right now. Beyond the director's involvement, we don't really know what to expect. We can at least assume that the movie is going to follow the same story as the game. At least there's not like four games in the series and the movie isn't going to try to cram all that into one story. No, it's just one story to go by, so hopefully they do that. We're also not quite sure where Sony's going to go when it comes down to casting. But I would like to take this opportunity to point out that Sucker Punch has already assembled the perfect cast for Ghost of Tsushima. All Sony has to do is follow it. There isn't a single actor who gave their face, voice, and motion capture performance to the game that wouldn't absolutely do a great job again in a live action movie. Daisuke Suji has won a ton of awards and acclaim for his performance as a lead character of Jin Sakai. And it's not hard to see why this actor that put everything into his performance in the game wouldn't do the same in the movie. The fans all want Suji to come back and play this role. And the actor himself has even stated that he wants to do the same. And now that games cast their actors to do voice work as well as motion and face capture, 
Video games have basically begun starring actors in a much more major way than ever before. The face of Jin Sakai isn't just one designed for and found in Ghost of Tsushima. It belongs to Jin's actor, Daisuke Suji. And this means that if the film is looking for someone that both looks the part and sounds like the character, and even knows the character inside and out, then it would make sense for Suji to be in the cast. If you're a fan of Ghost of Tsushima, I think you know this move because everybody does this move. I know I do it all the time. It's the one where you put, press the triangle <laughs> a lot. But on the other hand, there's other reasons why Sony might skip him in favor of another actor. After all, films have to make money and they sell based on who's in it. And Sony is likely going to cast an actor that people will want to go see. Maybe it'll be Tom Holland, who knows. Although it could make sense for that to happen from a marketing standpoint, it would be pretty odd to see someone else cast as a ghost. Given after all how much Suji brought to that character and just how iconic his performance has become following the game's release in 2020. So either way, the Ghost of Tsushima movie seems like it might be able to finally break the mold that adaptations of games have fallen into and hopefully Suji will be attached to it in some capacity. Anyway, thanks for watching.